it's now Monday the 28th um, of March. <laughs> you think what month it was. So, um, pretty productive weekend actually. Um, all teams again doing really well, performing really well. A um, bit disappointing with the junior blowout results. Um, again, that you, know, you can only play what's in front of you sort of thing and um, you know, without being derogatory to the opposition or anything like that, um, it's not our fault. The strength of some of our teams. So, again, decisions taken out of our hands. I'm not going to elaborate on it because it would cause more, cause more drama than what it's worth. But um, it does, you know, from a, a coach's point of view and a technical director's point of view, you know, being truthful and honest. It's disappointing and it's disheartening, even you know, winning 12 1 or 12 0 and all ridiculous things like that. It's just disheartening for the competition and disheartening for your boys because and your players um, because you want to play against the best players, um, and politics play a massive part in that. So, uh, from my point of view as a technical director, you get to the point where you go, Well, where do I draw the lines of TD? Where do um, you know, you get it to a point. We've got a a real good program, um, full time academy that's that's fully operational. We've got some vastly experienced staff. Um, when I sit here in the sports science office and I'm looking, you know, when you've got all this sort of caper going on, and it's all mapped out for them, and we're doing things properly. Um, but as a as a professional person, as a TD. You sort of look at it and you go, well, from my point of view, is this as far as it'll go? Uh, is this, no, is this as far as we are permitted to go? Um, because people keep interfering. So, you know, I've got to evaluate, you know, my future um, as, a, as a technical director or as a leader and go, have I hit the ceiling? Is this... Is this as far as we're permitted to go? Um, because people keep interfering. If it is, do you know? Do I have to start looking um, at an exit strategy? Do I have to look beyond this football club and possibly beyond Queensland or even the country and go? Might be time to look at something a little bit different um, because it's it's evident. Um, the way things are going here, it's not in a good position at all. Um, and while people keep interfering with um, external people, keep interfering with what we're doing or purposely holding us back, um, this is going to continue. And then you start to ask the question, is it me? Do they have a problem with me? If the problem's with me, then come and speak to me face to face. But, you know, people just don't have the spine do they so um, if I'm the problem then it's easier for the problem to to move to allow things to evolve so a um, bit of a cryptic message really isn't it so um, we've got a big week so we'll keep doing what we're doing for the time being and we'll see how we go um, we have started the academy assessment process again so irrespective of what happens with me, um, the preparations of the football club will still continue and the staff will keep delivering to the best of their ability, including myself, until such time as a change is needed or required. So I'll just bob my head out and show you what the boys are doing. So they're all still working out there. Um, and I will put a bit of footage in um, from a meeting uh, we had earlier on, uh, not actually the meeting itself, but uh, signing off on a, a really big um, sponsorship arrangement with Nutrition Warehouse. So all of our full-time footballers, male and female, will be provided with some um, pre-workout, mid-workout, post-workout uh, supplements um, to help them with their recoveries, etc. So absolutely fantastic and we're really grateful for the support of Nutrition Warehouse and Dylan who is the um, the manager at the Maruchidor branch and we do hope to do a podcast there so 
a uh, bit of a weird video this so um, I will update you as the week goes on because there's a lot of football happening but um, I'll cut back in further on the week Drop a bomb. 